This is Openly Hostile Opinions with your hosts, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? Why? I can do anything I want to This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. Hey, what's up, folks? What's up, everybody? How you doing? We're a little late getting started today, and I'll tell you why. It's because old man Winter decided to shove his fat, deformed, fucking white dong right down our throats today. Yeah, it was my turn to get beer, and like my truck is fucking horrible, horrible in the snow, so I I couldn't go and get it. And it's uh, it's it's bad out there. I don't know if it's covering the whole northeast or not, but for those of you up in the northeast, man, yeah, we we're got, we're getting fucking dumped on. Yeah, we got like four inches here, and uh, I'm not talking about penis size. So, <laughs> no, I, it's it's bad. Yeah, it is. Uh. I'm just happy, though, that we have no uh, incoming ballistic missiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I didn't set up the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, yeah, uh, Greg isn't here. We, uh, I think today he's getting a shot in his ass. All right, you two behave yourselves in the in the chat there. Uh, not talking football, bitches. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. That was ugly. Oh uh, yeah, that was, that was ugly. Steelers game. Uh, yeah, I, dude, I'm surprised they fucking scored that much though against Jacksonville's defense. I watched like three quarters of it, and then like towards the end of the fourth quarter, I'm like, you know what? I, I gotta, I gotta turn this Steelers. Yeah, I can't deal with it. Steelers came back though a little bit. I thought they were gonna handle it because Ben Roethlisberger is really good under pressure, but. The first quarter, I think it was what twenty one nothing. I was like, oh man, they got they got at least one, I think, towards the end. But it was, uh, oh, it was. It was well, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk. About Actually, it. there's a bunch of funny shit on the internet going on right now. Uh, there was a Steelers guy. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but he was freaking the fuck out. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kill myself, and he goes to his wife. He's like, I ain't, don't ask me to do nothing. I ain't doing the dishes because I'll be hanging from the ceiling fan. <laughs> Uh, some guy threw his like sixty-two inch TV just off the deck. He just unplugged it at all. It was a really nice TV too. And his wife's like, "Stop it! Stop it!" And he's like, "Whoop!" Some guy passed out. Um, when that did you see that Minnesota catch? Yeah, I, I saw the the when that highlights. happened. This guy was standing at the bar, and when he saw, he just <laughs> fell right backwards and just fucking passed out. Oh man. I like football, but I don't take it that seriously. No, it was, just, it was bad. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you know, the Steelers talked a lot of shit about, uh, you know, the the inevitable quote unquote game between them and uh, the Patriots this year, and uh, yeah, that game's never going to happen <laughs> because just, they fucked up. Oh, someone please just beat the Patriots. Please beat the Patriots. Oh my God, <laughs> Jacksonville, please, man. I'm so sick of them. I hate them. Steel man, Kenny, play nice. Play nice. <laughs> Yeah, we don't talk have about... to kick you children out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, some weird shit happened this week, for those of you who don't know. Uh, did you guys hear about this shit that happened in Hawaii with the, uh, the missile alert system? And then uh, <laughs> they sent out a, a false message to everybody that there's going to be an incoming fucking ballistic missile. Yeah, there, I, I actually read a lot of stories about it, but I, I, just, I just don't know how it happened. Like, I picture this guy s- sitting there, and he, like, just ordered Grubhub or something. And he's like, oh, shit, man, I forgot to, you know, get extra barbecue or something like that. Or, uh, you know, someone comes in, and they're like, hey, Charlie, I ordered you dinner. And he's like, oh, shit. So he cancels his Grubhub thing, but he accidentally hits ballistic missile thing. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it took him like 26 minutes or something <laughs> like that. You know, people are like literally, you know, I heard stories about like fathers putting their children down in the, the sewers to try yeah. and save their lives. Yeah. And, oh, my God. There, there, there was a bunch of other ones, too, like this. Uh, a lot of divorces, I think, happened <laughs> <laughs> because a, a lot of people basically when this happened didn't run to their families. Um, one guy went golfing. Um, <laughs> so instead of running to his family and seeing his kids and his wife one last time, he just went golfing. <laughs> um, Priorities, man. Yeah. Another guy, uh, that I was reading about was at a buffet line when this happened and his son was texting and was like, yo dude, are you going to get out of here? And he's like, eh, he's like, I'm standing here at the buffet line. It was really long. Uh, the thing came over everyone's phones. Everyone ran. There's no line anymore so i'm gonna sit down and eat <laughs> fuck it if you're gonna go out you might as well go out with a full belly <laughs> he just didn't give a fuck he's like the buf there's no buffet line anywhere anymore because everyone just ran so I i'm just gonna eat <laughs> well it, to to kill the comedy for a minute my wife told me a story about a guy who a father who had two children in two separate schools yeah. and in that 20 some minutes had to make a choice to uh, who he was going to go be with at his final moments. You know, in, in his mind, he probably made that choice uh -huh. just as it came through. And it was like, oh, yeah, we fucked up. <laughs> you know, so now this dude's got to live with that shit. Thinking, uh, thinking to himself, oh, my God. Oh, you know. Man, it's so funny. I just, I whoever did it is either dead or he's fucking fired. Well, yeah, he definitely <laughs> doesn't have a job anymore. Yeah, dude. You just, you can't do that, dude. And it's just, um. Okay, you two seriously behave or I'm kicking you both. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You guys got to calm down here. We're, we all get along here. Yeah, who who cares, man? Like, whoever's president, they're going to fuck us somehow, so just get over it. Who who gives a shit? You yeah, know, you two need to settle down with that shit. You guys are in here talking about America. We're great. We're, we're the great country. Every other country is a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> Not you two. Behave. <laughs> no, I, I had to, dude. I, I know. To, I know. I didn't even look into it much. I just saw that he saw some countries that called them shitholes or something. Actually, funny thing, though. Um, I guess a couple countries took it personally and uh, started cleaning up the beaches and shit. <laughs> so, well, like, so, like, it actually sort of there's a positive note to that. Uh I, I forget what country it was, but their beaches were really crappy and, like, third world shit. So they were like, you know what? It is a shithole. So they went out and just started, like, picking up trash and shit like that. So I'm like, eh, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, my wife uh, my wife uh, texted me. I didn't respond. I have no signal here, darling. Uh, T-Mobile don't work out here. Oh, really? Uh, no, it does not work out here. Oh, shit. Anyway, uh, oh, my God, you bastard. I tried texting you. No, I'm alive. I'm alive. Um, uh, she says that he has a job. He was just reassigned. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's reassigned to cleaning the toilets. That's yeah, what he's reassigned he'll to. He'll probably mess that up somehow. <laughs> so do you have a lot of stuff you want to talk about today? Because I got, I got a couple of good ones. Not really. I just want to talk about uh, the football thing and the, and the Hawaii missile thing. All right. Well, I want to talk about this one. And I apologize to any uh, ladies in the audience who will disagree with me. Megan's in the other room. Uh, so you guys Someone know. Asked about Megan? Yeah. Who? Who do you think? I don't see any. I don't see anything. Uh, it's Tuffy. Oh, I don't see. Oh, oh you... it just came up. Mine must be slower. Yeah, I just refreshed mine. Yeah, she's so, in the other room. So anyway, uh, the whole Me Too movement, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, for God's sakes. Yeah, I don't care who started it. You two behave. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christ, children. <laughs> Any... <laughs> anyway, so the, you know the whole Me Too movement where people... Yeah. Are, where the culture... Slacktivism. <laughs> Well, in one case, on one hand, it's good that, that people are starting to finally stand up mm -hmm. for, for against sexual predators, which happens way too often, especially in Hollywood. Yeah. But here's one that got me. Uh, Aziz Ansari was accused of, of, of being a predator, too. And I you heard know what? that, actually. You know what it is? If you read it, if you read the article of uh, the feminist website Babe... Uh, if you read the whole thing, it's not that that he was a sexual predator; it's that she was, he was guilty of being a bad fuck, essentially. What? Uh, here, here's I what it is. I, I didn't look into it. I just saw that he was accused of it, and I'm like, doesn't surprise me. We had we're starting to get a very unhealthy idea of sex in this. Oh, in this yeah, culture. it's been like that for a while. Like, remember, I've I've talked about numerous times women. 
<coughs> accusing men of rape for saying hi. Well, uh, that's that's what I'm getting into. <laughs> this lady goes on a date with Aziz Ansari. Okay. okay? She's looking forward to the date. Um, first off, she, she apparently had non-consensual white wine. <laughs> because she preferred red that's that that's how the evening became bad uh, that's that's the what? first step is, is he gave her white wine but she prefers red and never asked her so that's rape uh we're <laughs> we're getting through it Jesus Christ. I can't, I can't. okay here, here's what here's what it is <laughs> arriving at his tribeca apartment on the appointed evening she was excited having carefully chosen her outfit after consulting with friends they exchanged small truck and drank white drank wine it was white she said I didn't get to choose, and I prefer red, but it was white wine. Uh, so anyway, um, she comes back to his place, which during a date, when you go back to somebody's place, it's kind of implied that there's sex going to be yeah, involved. Yeah, you getting dick. <laughs> if you say, hey, you want to come back to my place for some coffee, everybody knows coffee is, is you know, yeah, code ne- for Netflix for and chill, play Yahtzee, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it, you're, you're getting some dick. So anyway, so the way she... she she says it is he you know he was real eager to get back to his place he's like he's got the check uh quote unquote like he got the check and then it was bada boom bada bing we're out of here okay (laughs) well then she goes back to his place she compliments his counter countertops (laughs) and then were they red is that why because they were white (laughs) (laughs) granite they were granite Uh, she compliments his uh granite countertops he made a move asking her to sit on top of him they started kissing he undressed her and then himself and and like 30 minutes later they 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 were fucking right Mm -hmm. and she says she was deeply uncomfortable throughout and uh she says that mr ansari ignored her signals uh when she finally says no during the whole time here, she finally says no. He 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 responded, "How about we just chill, but this time with our clothes on?" So it sounds to me like he was absolutely the perfect gentleman about the whole thing, except for he was kind of eager to get going on. Yeah, of course, man. It just sounded like she didn't like it, so you can't. Right, see, you that's... don't get to like sit there. <laughs> like uh, it says, she ignored her, he ignored her nonverbal clues. Well, fucking use verbal clues. I know, and that's the thing. That's a woman's problem, of course. Because it's been a woman's problem the whole fucking their entire existence. It, We're supposed to read their minds. Right. <laughs> that's what he was guilty of. He was guilty of not reading her mind. Jesus Christ. See, and that's why I just, I can't handle this stuff anymore. Well, it, it, I mean, I'm generally on the side of the woman. You shouldn't be pressured into sex or be pressured into using your body to get ahead, especially in a career or something like that. Uh-huh. But that was simply just a bad hookup. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, Steeler Man said he went on the date wearing his rubber already. I don't know if you're joking or if that's true. I think, I think he's a joke. I know, but I, I could... <laughs> Because she's a backdoor gal. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Yeah, she's probably just pissed because he didn't put it in her ass. I mean, they, they, <laughs> after after she finally used her mouth to say the word no, they, they hung out, they watched Seinfeld, and then he called her an Uber. It's like, what else could he have done? I see. That's the thing. Women are just so. And, and the and the funny thing is, is they teach us in colleges and shit how to think like this. And it's just when you're when you're in mid sex, you don't get to say no, and then it's all automatically rape. It just well, doesn't happen I, like I, that. I mean, it, <laughs> but here's the thing: if at any point prior to the fucking, she had said no. Yeah. He would. It seems to me clearly that he was the type of guy to be like. Okay, hands off. Yeah. It sounds like he's just the right kind of person here. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Jimmy Knapp? Jimmy uh, Knapp, how the hell are you? We're talking about the whole Aziz on sorry thing and how how bitches be tripping. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and another thing is is like I see a lot of excuses of women like, Oh, I'm drunk, then don't drink. Like the the wine thing. If if she thought that it would get to this point or she was gonna go back, don't drink then. Because I'm, I'm sick of hearing that shit, too. Like, oh, I was drunk. He should have been a gentleman and stuff like that. Well, that that, that's like, that one's debatable, and I, I think that's like a case-by-case basis. You should I know, but I that, just but... I hear it a lot. It's just fucking, like, I remember this one girl in Ohio. She was in college, and she was like, oh, I was drunk, and a guy took advantage of me. And there was a video of it, of course, because everyone has cell phones now. And this, guy, and this girl is literally in the middle of the street raping this guy. And she just lied about it. And it's just they blame it on drinking all the time. And it sort of reminds me of like this, this Nazi thing that happened last year or whatever. When you keep crying wolf too much, uh, shit's going to get out of control. Like, you know, people were calling everyone Nazis. Oh, everyone's a Nazi, blah, blah. And then the real Nazi showed up. You can't cry wolf all these times and expect good things to happen. It's like this H&M bullshit. 
all these people are going to H and M stores and wrecking the stores. Did you see that? Show? Yeah, yeah, that's getting out of it's hand. It's just too. like even, even the mom came out and she goes, um, she goes, "We guys stop crying, Wolf. Like just cut it out." She's not even pissed off about it. She's like, it, you know, if that kid was white, they wouldn't even cared. It was just, it was a bad, like it was just bad. It just. The, I, the, and they're being called racist for it. H and M probably didn't even think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 nuts. Um, does your pee wee doll work? No, it does no, not. it doesn't. <laughs> uh, somewhere I, I lost the chat because I had to refresh. But Steel Man somewhere said uh, if at any point she says no, then then it's over. Yeah, of course, that's exactly it. If at any point you look at at at, at the person who is making an advance on you and you say no okay yeah you're done it's over if you proceed beyond that then yeah you're raping somebody yeah, plain exactly. and simple but you have to like do the bad thing first yeah, exactly and then it's the thing a lot of men will but you know to a lot of women all men are rapists uh but like i remember one time i had uh you know relations if that's what you want to call it. But um, I had her down on the ground and I pulled her legs up, you know, getting ready to do my business. And she goes, stop. This remind me. Of, this reminds me of when I was raped. I didn't keep going. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> you know, I, I I got right up. I didn't even think twice about it. You know what I mean? She didn't even say no because she, she actually wanted to keep going. So I don't know if it was some kind of sick <laughs> role play for her or what. But she was like. You know, this reminds me of when I was raped once. So I just, I was like, nope, got right up and started putting my clothes back on. And I stopped. And most men will. It's just, you know. Right, yeah. That, no, the, the whole thing is just ridiculous. It, it's, it's just too much. It, 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 I don't know. Like, I guess Corey Feldman got accused too of like sexual harassing someone it's just of like, course the guy who's like, trying to bring the light i know exactly and that's the thing uh that's what we're, we're just finding out that hollywood is a fucking mess and you know a lot of people already knew it was but it's just it's starting to come out that when you make a lot of money um i think it takes you away from you know coming down to earth it puts you in another mindset and you just get out of control like and that one news reporter that got caught doing it. What's his name? He's sort of like bald looking or whatever. Uh, do you know who I'm talking about? Was it Matthews or something? Uh, not not I, ringing I, a bell. I can't remember. He, I think he was on MSNBC. Uh, he was one of these people that was all against, you know, oh, Hollywood, you know. Oh, Matt people. Lauer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, now, now I know what you're talking when about. When he right. got caught doing it, dude, it wasn't just like sexual harassment. It was sick shit. Like, he Oh, was, yeah, I really didn't, I didn't keep up. Like, yeah, he, it was bad, um, huh? He wasn't, like, groping women or anything like that. If he was attracted to a woman in the office or something like that, he would send her a gift, all right? The gift would be, like, dildos and stuff, and inside would be notes saying how much he wants to use them on him and all this fucking weird shit. Like, Yikes, that's some, like, that's yeah. some serial killer shit right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly, and it's just, like, we're starting to realize how fucking weird and crazy Hollywood is, and um, I've always mentioned stuff about this because... Uh, a lot of women out there, are, you know, I just use this as an example, hate, you know, skinny women all the time on magazines and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, you know, they should have plus size models and stuff like that. You got to remember that these women on these magazines is a small group of people's opinion on what a woman, you know, should look like. And we're starting to see that with Hollywood, that Hollywood has these opinions and they're not always right. And they're, they're all fucking nuts. Like, um, uh, what was I going to say about, um, you know, a lot of people were pissed off that Colin Kaepernick got voted citizen of the year by some magazine or something. That doesn't mean the whole fucking world thought he was citizen of the year. That was a small group of people's opinions. You right. know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, I've always felt like that Hollywood is so out of touch with reality. That's why I don't really listen to their opinions. They're all fucking nuts. Like Mark Wahlberg. Did you hear about his shit? He did uh, some movie with some lady. Well, Mark Wahlberg is kind of a piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, but he did some movie with some lady, and he didn't even do anything, and he's getting under fire for getting paid more than her. Yeah, you know why? He's the main role. <laughs> like, that's how it works. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. When you play a main role in a movie, the guy that's sitting in the background, you know, for background, doesn't get paid more than the main role. Like, <laughs> it's just fucking retarded. I can't, I can't stand that anymore. It's just... Hollywood, I'm done with Hollywood. I watch the movies. I don't get into it too much. Uh, I like Holly, Haley Steinfeld, and that's about it. 
<laughs> uh, oh, I'm looking back through the chat here to see what everybody's saying. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy invited somebody uh, in apparently called Yo Miller. So hey, Yo Miller, he goes. Uh, Yo Miller, what's up? <laughs> he goes. Are they as crazy as your show? He goes. No, they actually have topics. They're better. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's hilarious because it's so not true. That's <laughs> so not true. We we uh, we're, we're awful. Yeah, we're we're just god fucking awful. We we know it. The, we know we're awful. Yeah, we're just uh. Uh, your wife has says, come at me, Matt Lauer. Yeah, I saw that. She, Jesus she a, Christ. She a freak. God. She a freak, yo. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> you need to get home and take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I will as soon as the show's over. <laughs> like, who was that that came in and hasn't had sex with his wife because she's fat? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Bruno. Was it Bruno? Was it? I don't know. I forget. I forget. <laughs> We were, we all thought it was like some serious like marital problems and shit. And he's like, no, she's just fat. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were giving him the benefit of the doubt. He completely fucked that up. <clears throat> uh, Sorry, yeah. excuse me, Jesus. Uh, my mom got me that for Christmas. I do not know what that means. Oh, the dildos, yeah. <laughs> uh, your mom a freak too. Yeah. Uh, I I just don't get it. Like I said, uh, I I've ignored Hollywood for a while because I just I think they're a bunch of fucking pedophile yeah. rapist you know all just, those just, things like uh <laughs> they're just so out of touch man i just can't stand it like i remember they're interviewing uh Katy perry about you know open borders and shit and she's like can we just like um like all just like not have borders and like live in peace like um so they like show a picture Katy of her. perry's not smart no. <laughs> and then they show a picture of her house and it's like barricaded with like concrete walls and gates and shit i'm like <laughs> it's like bitch take your own fucking advice she, uh, we didn't take the steelers logo down my just fat ass is in front of it <laughs> yeah yeah we, we still got to get markers i got to get online because i like i said uh one episode i can't find markers for those kind of boards anywhere they don't sell them at walmart so i have to uh, get them online because i can't i can't fucking find them anywhere because the Steelers suck. They made it farther than the Cowboys. <laughs> I'm a Cowboys fan, and the Cowboys fan did fucking horrible. Uh, oh, it's, it is Bruno. Bruno's here. <laughs> I don't remember your name being Bruno88, though. Did you change it? I don't know. I have no idea. Hollywood used to be named Hollyland. Hollywoodland. Really? Is that a true fact? Uh, I think so. I think I think I heard that before. No. Um, Actually, that reminds me. Uh, did you ever see that movie, Atomic Blonde? No, I heard of it, but I never saw it. Um, I was like speaking of like Hollywood and feminism and all that shit. I was sort of like uh, you know, dodging it because I thought it was going to be like one of those feminists like, "Oh, fuck it." It was actually really good. I was really surprised. It takes place in the 80s, uh during the Berlin Wall coming down. Oh uh, yeah. So the whole soundtrack is like 80s pop music, like 99 Love Balloons and all that shit, and she gets her fucking ass kicked in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like she she's a good fighter and shit cuz she's like an uh uh what's the British intelligence? Am I six or uh, something? Yeah, yeah. Something she's like, like that, so she knows how to fight and stuff like that. But she gets into like some fucking brawls, dude, and gets her fucking ass kicked. <laughs> and I also watched Split. Split was a really good movie. How was Mother? Did you see Mother? No, I, I heard Mother was good. Uh, I really don't like Jennifer Lawrence anymore, so I, I'm like, eh. <laughs> uh, somebody in here is getting all fucking get, get all fucking deep on us. Well, what Superface doing? Rocket Team goes. Do you ever feel like everything is just sensory condition or a dr- fake dream and shit? Put the bong down. <laughs> um, the Matrix. The Matrix wasn't a movie; it was a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife says only like cowboys because my dad did. Yeah, that's why I he like. Did him. Like I watched. I watched my brother. I grew up watching my brother watch the Cowboys, and that's why I like him. And that's also why I like the Pittsburgh Penguins because when I would go over to my cousin's house, they were watching the Penguins, and I. That's how I liked them, and they were really serious about it. They they love the Steelers. They love the Penguins. And when those games were on, you weren't allowed to talk. You you, you, you weren't allowed to say a word. One of those families. Yeah, they were like the kegs there. No words. <laughs> we we don't speak of this. Yeah, and you're you're just not allowed to talk. Uh, you're allowed to sit there, but once you talk, you have to leave. <laughs> Steelman says, "Listen, when uh, when you fart, are you ever kind of proud of some of them? Um, all the time. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You got a cupcake. Those things and fucking waft them in people's cupcake? faces. Yeah." So you sort of hold them like a cupcake, and you fart. And boop. <laughs> I don't think gas works the way you think it does. It should, God damn it! What, what do you mean? Gas isn't just used for killing Jews. Jesus Christ, Jack! Oh my God! 
<laughs> I I just want to see how much we can get away with. <laughs> uh, we've been we've been doing the racial shit for like weeks now, and iTunes still hasn't banned us. So I think they well, just someone can't... has to report us. Oh, really? Like they don't listen to every fucking episode we put on just yeah. to like. I figure the people that listen to us are racist, <laughs> so they probably don't give a shit. I don't know. I I I don't know. Whatever. Fuck Megan it. Megan get in here. I think she's too shy. We asked her if she wanted to be on the show a couple. Yeah, weeks we knew ago. we knew Greg wasn't joining us this week, so yeah, she just I don't know. I think she's shy. Actually, that's a funny story. <laughs> so, so okay. oh boy, um, Megan got off work early today, and she goes, uh, "Sorry, Megan, if you watch this or you watch this later, uh, I'm gonna embarrass you." Um, <laughs> so she gets off work, and she's like, "Hey, can I come up?" I got to stop by home and then I'll be up. I'm like, yeah, sure. I was like, um, I got stuck in my driveway over here when it rained and then it fucking ice stormed. Yeah. I didn't get stuck in snow. I got stuck in mud. Okay. And I'd say I I got my tire down from being frustrated to about a foot in the ground. Oh, yeah. So it's fucking destroyed over there. (laughs) Like, it looks like a fucking virgin pussy that got, you know, hit by a 12 inch dick for the first time. Like, it just, it looks fucking horrible. Wesley Pipes came in and laid it to her. Uh, so I told her, I'm like, hey, you got to park in the other driveway. The other driveway is huge. It's like really wide and really like mm. long and stuff like that. So I'm out there shoveling this shit, okay? Fucking trucks are flying by, putting more snow on it. I'm shoveling. I'm like sweating so bad because I'm just like having a heart. I smoke cigarettes, having a heart attack almost, you know, uh, thinking about my will and who I'm going to leave stuff to because I'm just dying. Okay, so I finally get it all done. It looks nice and everything. I'm like, good, she probably won't get stuck. You know, it's clean enough, everything like that. I go inside the house. I hear the door open. She goes, Casey, I'm stuck. I'm like, what? (laughs) (laughs) So I go outside, okay, and look, and she's not even close to where I shoveled out <laughs> like she's not even close you know the camper that sits out there yeah she tried to park in front of that <laughs> that's a bad idea yeah so she's stuck and i'm just like oh my god i did all that for no fucking <laughs> reason she's like please don't be mad i'm like i'm not mad who would be mad i don't know so we got a piece of cardboard and i put a piece of cardboard under a tire uh that helped a little bit so since i put the piece of cardboard under there it helped her go um forward a little bit and got her off the ice so i got i have a coal stove so i took some ash and i just threw some yeah i was gonna say why didn't you just use ash from the stove yeah um and i threw some ash behind there and she finally got out and i'm like park over to where i shoveled (laughs) (laughs) she just like floored it right into the yard with nothing was shoveled i was like you didn't see that that's the wrong spot and then yeah and then when she got out of her car she walked up just through the grass all through her, like, just all, she had snow all over and I'm like, you didn't see the path I shoveled for you? <laughs> Mega state. Yeah, I know. So, so, she just, she <laughs> she's just an accident <laughs> waiting to happen. Yeah, she's a, she always makes fun of herself and says she's a walking disaster. What state are you guys in, Steel Man says, really? Really? <laughs> really? You're surprised? You know, uh, if you're not Pennsylvania. Joking, yeah, for central Pennsylvania. Uh, I always tell people this because that's what we're known for is we live in Williamsport where the Little League World Series happens. Uh, Kali Q Q says, uh, (laughs) uh, what a conversation to to jump in on. (laughs) All of our conversations are this bad. It don't matter. Welcome Uh, to the show, though. I don't don't know what part you Probably about me talking about virgins getting 12-inch dicks from the porn star Wesley Pipes. Quite possibly. (laughs) Do you ever have deja vu when you were taking a shit? Uh, no, but, uh, remember, if you learn from the Matrix, when deja vu happens, that means there's an error in the programming. <laughs> I love that about that movie. I was like, that's actually really creative. <laughs> yeah, that for the first Matrix movie is great, then the rest of them were just, like, film abortions. Yeah. Uh, in sp- fact, I'm pretty sure filming abortions would be better. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I need my fucking soundboard. <laughs> no, I can't so believe lonely. I didn't look it up. So lonely. <laughs> uh, Steeler Man says he, uh, he works in Harrisburg. Yeah, Harrisburg is probably about 45 minutes from us. It's about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, yeah. I don't know why I said 45 minutes. What's 45 minutes? I don't know. I was thinking like Sealand's Grove or something. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half from us south. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's not that far away from us. But, uh, yeah, so... Did you fucking type my milkshake brings on a boy's Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, It's a whole thing. You gotta, you gotta read God. it. But, uh, yeah, I never so, read that. I should. So, uh, you and Greg always think I'm mean to Megan. Um, yes. I, I'm not. 
I'm very nice to her. And any of you ever think that, I shoveled a whole driveway for her and a path to my house. You know, my wife actually shoveled the driveway out. Really? Yeah, she did. She was doing it while I was working today. Huh. And, and then I uh, I go out to, uh, you know, come here, and it's completely covered again. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. I'm going to park a car right up the edge of the driveway, and I'll dig her out tomorrow if I, I have we, to. I didn't think we were supposed to get this, but I saw that they changed it, and uh, we weren't really supposed to get anything. We were supposed to get, like, a dusting, and then they changed it. We were supposed to get two to four. Um, and then people like the east of us is supposed to get like four to six. Shit is lame. Yeah, shit is fucking lame. But yeah, any people think I'm mean to Megan? No, no. no. And, and when I left her no, house, bro. yeah, when I left her house this morning, I wiped off her car so she wouldn't have to before work. So you, you motherfuckers think I'm mean to her? It's I'm not. I'm I'm sweet as fucking sugar to her. Yeah, but you <laughs> won't call her your fucking girlfriend. It's because she's not my girlfriend. <laughs> I thought we were having women this week. Jay, your wife is awesome. That's why. Yes, she is. And the woman that we have is out there on the couch and refuses to come back here. Because <laughs> she's a wuss. She's shy. She's shy, Mama Bear. Did you just join Mama Bear? I don't think I've seen you in here talking yet. Uh, we were just talking about snow and stuff. It's fucking... It's about 2.5 in Harrisburg. Yeah, uh, about central Pennsylvania, everything's about 2 to two to 3. Um, or 2 to 4. And then uh, everything east, like Philadelphia and shit like that. And today to on the Weather Channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're local on the 8th. <laughs> this is supposedly why, you know, we're, we're organized. We even tell you the weather. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. yeah, but we still fucking cough into the camera. I know, dude. We're so unprofessional. We wonder why we, we, we don't get a lot of views. <laughs> we're just so fucking horrible. <laughs> Speak for yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> I at least turn my head when I have to cough. Yeah, yeah. You don't really yawn anymore. I remember when we first started doing this, you always yawned. <laughs> God damn it, Casey. <laughs> you had to say that. Oh, man. Well, you know, when I talk too much, also in the beginning, the early on shows. In the beginning. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the, in the early days of this show, you were frozen like a fucking popsicle and couldn't talk, so I had to do the whole thing. Who, me? Yeah, you. For the first, like, three shows, you didn't talk much. <laughs> really? I don't remember that. Oh, I do. I think I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, you do. I touch too much. <laughs> Who says that? Okay. Oh, no, is, is it Are You Tough Enough? Are You Tough Enough? That's the I, fabulous Thunderbirds. I don't know why I thought touch. I don't know why I thought it was touch. <laughs> a touch too much is ACDC. I, it's okay. I was like Guns N' Roses. I always thought that one song uh, was uh, from the sands of time. <laughs> but it's not that at no, all. No, it's not. <laughs> not even close. Uh, man, there's a lot of love going on in the chat. I'm, I'm glad to see that. <laughs> uh, Mama Bear and your wife are saying... Um, yeah, there may be some lesbian shit going on out that there. That they're here for each other. Yeah. Ha hashtag, I'm here for you. Hashtag, not me too. <laughs> Hash. I'm sorry. I just I, making fun of rapes funny. Me. Actually, rape jokes aren't <laughs> making funny. Making fun of fun, fun of rapes funny. To yeah, me, so. actually, rape jokes aren't funny. They always seem forced. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, you jackass! I'm sorry. I love that joke. I think it's fucking hilarious. Of course you do. <laughs> I think we said that on the show before, but I can't remember. <laughs> How the hell can I get back on? Just uh, come in. <laughs> I don't know. Let the kids go out and we'll fucking sit in Casey's couch for a while. Never is mind. your couch clean? Yeah, my couch is clean. Like even Jay said, this house is a trap house, but I keep it pretty clean for a trap house. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, I would I would say you should invite the girlfriend to move in, but you know, not having a uh, bathroom door would be sort of a problem. Yeah, I don't think she could live with me. I play too much WoW. <laughs> you and the kid would get along good. All you do is play video games and yeah. watch cartoons. Oh, and eat man. cereal. I, I, I gotta talk about something. This 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 is so fucking weird for me because I've never experienced it before. What? Uh, I was at Megan's house last night, and uh, for, for some reason lately, his kid has been... Uh, or her kid, his kid. His kid. Um, all right. Well, we're learning all sorts of things today. Uh, has been trouble sleeping lately. Um, and you're not supposed to coddle your kids, so you don't, you know, always want to run right to them and pay attention. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like how you don't want to coddle him and everything. Well, she was trying to put him to bed, and he was like, she would come downstairs, he'd start screaming, she'd go back upstairs, he'd she'd come down again, he'd be screaming again like that. It like really fucking ripped me apart. Yeah, it's tough. 
Yeah, like, like it was really tough. Like she didn't do anything wrong. She was like checking on him. Uh, he wouldn't really say what he wanted, but she found out that you know finally he said you know I wanted a blanket, so she gave him a blanket and it calmed him down a little bit. But it was like really fucking heart wrenching for me, and it wasn't even my kid. Like I couldn't imagine what she felt like. Did you ever have an experience like that? Um, our kids are pretty easy for the most part. Now, how old's Megan's kid? He, he's two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This no, is this that's, why I'm that's saying that's about. That's about the right time. Yeah, you're terrible twos and everything like that. But did yeah, you ever have a moment like that where you're not trying to coddle your kid too much? You're making sure they're not dead. Of yeah, course. Yeah, when, when you've had when you have to let them cry it out, that's that's not fun. Dude, like, it was especially horrible. With babies, it was fucking horrible. Like, because Megan looked at me and she goes, "My insides are burning." I'm like, "I don't know how you can take this right now." I'm like, "He's not even my kid, and I am dying inside." <laughs> like, it, I felt, sometimes you have to. Sometimes know, it's the best thing for I him. know, and that's the thing. Like. I felt like my organs were melting. <laughs> like, it was so horrible to hear him cry like that. Now, Abby was always pretty... My, my oldest daughter was always pretty uh, self-sufficient. She was always able to handle that. Mm. Uh, but my youngest one... She, yeah. God damn it, you I, just <laughs> I know, I earlier. mentioned the yawning. You jackass. Yawning like a anyway, my youngest one, she, she was the one who was um, really difficult. Mm. Uh, she, she had... To be left to cry it out, and I hated that. Yeah, I know because you you don't want to coddle them because you know it makes them spoiled and all that's and they'll just drop it, and, you know, just do it on purpose. Probably, you know what I mean, right? So it's like you have to have a happy medium, but like it wasn't even my kid, and I was like fucking like I was like hearing war noises and like bombs from vietnam and shit i'm like i'm like what's going on it was so horrible it was the worst fucking feeling yeah tigger <laughs> Tigger says wait a minute casey has feelings uh yeah i know it was amanda uh, amanda says casey i could i never could let my kid cry i did it once with sam and it hurt so bad yeah well let me tell you here what happens uh when you don't <laughs> um because we sucked at it mm -hmm. uh for example, when she finally got out of a crib, right? Uh huh. And we put a Who? mattress on the bed. Which one? The oldest? The, the young one. The young one. Okay. We put a mattress on the floor so in case she would fall, it'd be like that far, you know? Yeah. She would not. It, first off, we couldn't leave the room. Mm hmm. And then secondly, like, she wanted to be at the edge of her doorway. We had a baby gate there so she couldn't go out and run down edge the hall and fall, fall down the stairs while she was, you know? Mm hmm while we weren't awake so um we had a baby gate at her door and the mattress had to be at the door yeah and she cried and cried and cried and finally like we, we got to the point where we'd lay in there with her for an hour until we were sure she was asleep and then we'd have to get up real slow and if she woke up you'd have to lay back down with her. <laughs> uh, and finally i started moving the mattress right a little bit each day like a couple of inches away from the doorway, right? And I finally got it back all the way against the other wall. Mm -hmm. Then she caught onto that shit and made me move it all the way back. <laughs> so trust me, sometimes it's better just to do the uh, do the shit where you tell them, where tell you, them no. Yeah, and th and that's the thing, man. Like I, I fucking, I just actually, I just realized something. Is Greg's mic on? Which which one's Greg's mic here? Yeah, it's on. Which one? Which one is it? Do you remember? This one. Yeah, turn that all the way down. There we go. Uh, so we've had all sorts of fucking interference. <laughs> There's probably like background noise and shit. You can probably hear my pipes working and everything. Oh, we're sorry. <laughs> <coughs> that ain't good. No, but like I was saying, um, I just, I don't know. I didn't know it was that bad. It was fucking horrible. Yeah, it's 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 awful. I've it really never, is. ever, ever felt something like that before, and I never want to feel it again. And I just, I got to give it to Megan, dude. She did great with it. Like, it was killing me. And, like, she just, I don't know. Like, oh. It, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> I just didn't know parents went through that kind of shit. I was like, God, man. I felt like killing myself. <laughs> I was like, I felt like I was trapped in some fucking John Carpenter or Wes Craven movie. And I was just like, I'm fucking out myself. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> oh, jeez. I, I gotta go. <laughs> I can't, dude, I can't it do it. It was so bad. It was so bad. It I, is. I've never felt the inside of my body feel like that before it was fucking god are you downloading stuff no i'm fucking getting rid of stuff because my fucking uh fucking hard drive is full what's it full of besides porn uh <laughs> it's it's 
a Chromebook, man. I'm running Windows on it. Oh, okay. Uh, now imagine being a parent and raising these crazy things. I know, and that's why I don't judge parents. Like when that fucking, you know, zoo thing happened where that gorilla, you know, took its kid. I mean, that woman's kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> iTunes <laughs> might get that one. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Um, everyone, God, you piece of shit. Everyone was going after her, man. And it's like, you know, all these people that's going after her for being a bad mother probably don't have kids and know what it's like. Like, you fucking, you look at a kid, you look away five seconds later, you look back, they're like building a rocket. Like, it's just, you can't, it's just insane. And that's why I don't judge parents, because I have no idea what it's like to be a parent. And I got a good dose of what it's like last night, and it was fucking awful. Oh, no, thank you. Like I, no, thank you. <laughs> every time during sex, I'm using two condoms now. I want no kids. No, thank you. <laughs> Actually, that's worse. I know. I heard because it, it causes friction. Yeah, it rips the condoms up. Yeah, it rips them up. You can always take my approach. Just get the old snippety snip. No. They won't do it for you nope. though because you haven't had kids. Nope, ain't going through it. Nope, 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 nope. It ain't that bad. Oh, oh yeah. And here's another thing. <laughs> it was sore though for a couple weeks. Oh yeah. Oh, I bet. Well, um, you 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 witnessed. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put myself on a limb out on a limb here. Uh, but for some reason, uh, you know, I I've had bad anxiety my whole life. Okay, really bad anxiety. I'm talking about like crippling. Like sometimes my legs go numb and shit. Like it's because you're crazy. Yeah, it's because I'm fucking nuts. I, it's god awful. Well. You know, as I got into my 30s, it got really fucking bad, and it's getting worse, okay? It's getting worse to the point where sometimes I have to go to the hospital and get, like, an Ativan or something like that, or it'll last for two days. I don't know what causes it. I have no idea. All right, I just have really bad anxiety. So um, instead of going to the emergency room all the time and shit like that, I figured, you know, I should probably see a doctor, get on something maybe, you know, daily for my anxiety, right. something like that. Um, so I, I, I got a hold of the family practice down the street here in Hughesville. All right. Okay. They have given me nothing but fucking problems. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them there. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but when is, when did it take, or when did it become so fucking hard to see a goddamn doctor these days? Well, what do you mean by give you problems? Like what in particular is the issue? I fucking told him, I go, look, the whole reason I need this is because, you know, I've been white knuckling my anxiety. Okay. I've been trying to deny it. I, like who wants to admit that they have bad anxiety, or depression or something like that. And, and I'm not talking about depression. I'm talking people on the internet like to admit they have depression. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In the uh, meme, I'm... in the meme scene, <laughs> meme scene. That was good. Um, so I'm talking strictly about anxiety. Um, so I'm like white knuckling my anxiety. So, you know, I told them, you know, instead of you just white knuckling it and just, you know, going to the ER for emergencies and shit like that, I need to see a doctor. I haven't seen a doctor in a while. I want to start seeing one and being, you know, consistent with it and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, we can't find old records of you. We can't find, you know, what doctors gave you these meds and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, because I told you. I don't go to doctors. I go to ERs, and they prescribe me stuff. Well, we need to know what doctors prescribed them, you know, what their fucking blood type. Like, just, they want all this fucking nonsense. And I don't know how many times I have to tell them I don't have this stuff because it was all for, like, emergencies. I didn't, like, get back from the ER and was like, I better write this down. Like, you know, did you ever, like, experience this shit? Uh, no, but that's because I go to a doctor like a normal person. Yeah, I haven't. And I don't know how many fucking times I got to explain to these fucking people <laughs> that that I, I I fucking just need some fucking meds before, yes, you, do. before you know, stuff. <laughs> I, I know I, the FBI is probably are, listening. Are you okay? <laughs> the FBI is probably listening, so I don't want to say anything. Do, do you need a hug? <laughs> no, I hug myself. Actually, all, all my friends are hugging me right now. I'm just the only one that can see them. Um, I am bipolar, manic, depressive, with anger disorder. They think you are just a pill popper. That's what that's I Mama know. Bear who said that. Casey's not all that. Yeah, uh, He's Mama like Bear just that. said that. Uh, that's what I'm thinking is going on. They are trying to find out if I am just a druggie or not. But it's just it's very frustrating what I've told them numerous times. I've never gotten meds from a psychiatrist or a doctor. It's always been through ERs. And and the funny thing is is that you say that Mama Bear is is um 
I didn't realize that people actually do take a lot of anxiety medicines because it sort of gets them high. Oh, um, yeah. I don't notice that because my anxiety. Because I have fucking anxiety? Yeah, my anxiety is so bad when I take them, they just make me feel normal. I didn't know that Ativan and stuff like Seroquel and all that fucking crazy shit that they give people like me. <laughs> uh, I didn't know it gave them like a high. So I didn't think of that until like today when I was talking to him. I was like, oh, my God, they probably think I'm a pill popper. And uh, I didn't really think of that um, because, uh, like I said, it makes me feel normal. Uh, so I didn't, you know, I just it's just frustrating. And it's like, like, do they want my first newborn? Do they want my fucking blood type? I just, I need to get in there. And I'm pretty some... sure they know your blood type. <laughs> it's the Xanax. Uh, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I forgot. Xanax is a lot like Ativan. I forgot about that. Xannies. Okay, yeah. That makes a lot of sense now. It's just, it's just frustrating. Like, I don't know how to. And then they even told me a weird thing. They're like, you need to call your high school. For what? They th they're like, you need to call your high school and get old records. And I'm like, what the fuck are Why you? Would the <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? It's just weird, man. You know what? You should just go find another doctor and come in and, like, pretend the problem's new. And let them, just, <laughs> let them diagnose it on their own. And, and that's the thing. I guess, um, you know, I I'm just a very upfront person. And I guess, you know, when I called them and I told them my situation, because they wanted to know. They were like, well, why do you want to see us? And blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I have really bad anxiety and I'm on meds uh, for them. But I've only ever been on them for emergencies. Like when, you know, anxiety attacks happen, I go to the ER about them. And they're like, okay, well, we need this, 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 this. I'm like, you're not listening to me. Like I, I went to a wedding in New Mexico and had an anxiety attack. and went to some fucking hospital out there. I don't know what the fuck this guy's name was that prescribed to me. Like the hospital just gave it to me. You I know what? I think you ought to. I think you ought to uh, just say, I need a general checkup. And once you get in there, <laughs> then talk to him. Just grab and be like, I got problems, man. <laughs> just, just wait till you talk to the actual doctor rather than the freaking secretary people who want everything. Uh, but you know what? Hey, before we get any further here, because we only got about 10 minutes left, I have to do the plug for the, uh, the, the butt sponsor. Plug. Butt plug. <laughs> um, we went way over the halfway point, so sorry about that, uh, private internet access. Anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, we have a sponsor. They're uh, private internet access. That's a VPN service for those of you who are not in the know. Uh, VPN is a virtual private network. What you do is you can uh, use... You can subscribe to private internet access, and then when you connect through there, nobody is able to see what kind of traffic you have coming <laughs> in and out of your uh, network. So you can use that to help avoid things like, uh, you know, paid prioritization, because now that uh, they struck down net neutrality, it's just a matter of time till they start treating traffic differently. Fucking cocksuckers. So you can avoid that <laughs> shit. Yeah. You can avoid that shit. Um, also, if you were to do... If you were to download things that you wouldn't want people to know about, um, like people who own the rights to those things, I'm trying to try to try to keep this kind of gray, um, <laughs> it comes real in handy for that. So, <laughs> not what I meant, <laughs> not what I meant at all. Uh, if you are torrenting uh, uh, those Linux ISOs and you don't want your ISP to know that you're torrenting those Linux ISOs, uh, they're they're real handy for that as well. Uh, so anyway, check them out. It's uh, if you want to help us out, give us a couple bucks back for it and get a great service. Just go to our link, which is ohonet.pw/ohovpn. That's our URL shortener. Mm -hmm. If you go through there, that'll go to our landing page, and we'll get a couple bucks back from you signing up, and you'll get a great service. I use it myself. And you know what? I wanted to plug this too because I just recently discovered this. If you have an Android phone, right? There's a there's a setting in here when you use uh, private internet access. Here's the app. I'll show if anybody can actually see this. Uh, there's a setting in here called PIA Mace. It'll block ads for you. Oh, nice. So if you connect to the VPN at all times, like I do, you know, you'll be able to block ads as well. So if, you know, the next time you want to play Angry Birds, that shit ain't gonna get in your way. Oh, it does it for games and shit. Yeah, it blocks all the ads. Oh, that's fucking amazing. I mean, it doesn't, let me rephrase it, it doesn't block every single ad, but it does a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. At least you'll be able to view mobile websites without those fucking stupid pop-ups that happen. Yeah, I hate and, those. Um, that uh, ad blocker stuff that uh, that we used for, uh, that we had on our Wired Wednesday or whatever like that, what yeah. was their names? Our data, but they the, shut down. Yeah, our data shut down, which sucks. They were actually, they had really They had a great idea. idea, it just didn't come. Yeah. 
They couldn't they couldn't get a hold of the venture um, capital. They had an ad blocker stuff like that. It was actually really good. Like there was a lot of websites that um a lot of ad blockers wouldn't block and they did. Uh, yeah, well, it's because it's based on uh, uBlock Origin. Yeah, it's a shame that they they didn't work out or whatever like that. But that was a really really good ad blocker and stuff like that. I had friends that were using it because we were promoting it and everything. And I play World of Warcraft, so I was like telling them about it and everything. And there's a lot of World of Warcraft fan sites that you go to for information and shit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them wouldn't block the ads, but that one did. So a lot of my friends use it and everything like that. It's a shame that they got shut down. But I, yeah, I couldn't remember. It was our data, right? Yeah, our data. Like I said, they're based on uBlock Origin. So if you you know you use Chrome, you can use uBlock Origin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, on Android though, that this works great. It protects your privacy. You don't have to worry about anybody snooping on your shit, and it blocks ads. So nothing wrong with that. The FBI wants to snoop, baby, snoop. <laughs> uh, we got started a little late. So is there anything else you want to cover? No, I'm good. I'm done ranting. A lot You're of, done ranting. A lot of my stuff was angry ranting today, and I'm done. <laughs> Just pissed off, man. I just need some meds. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get into that. That'll become a long fucking diatribe. We don't want to get into that. <laughs> Do uh, you guys hear about that story about uh, the these fucking sick bastards who had like how many how many kids was it, Amanda? She she can tell me. She she all saw the story too. They had like twelve kids, I think, down oh, chained up in their basement and shit. Oh, they they God. raged everywhere from uh, like really little, I think two or something, to like uh, twenty nine. And uh, they were all, they couldn't even be identified as adults, the, the, the adult children, because they were so emaciated and so small oh. from being starved. Um, what the fuck is wrong with people? Did they 13. give a reason why they were doing it? They just were fucking unbalanced? They're just fucking weird. I don't know. 13. Why would you keep Holy having fuck. kids? I don't know, man. Like, if you're not going to take care of the kids, why would you have 13 of them? There's, I don't know. That's what I'm saying, man. This fucking 2 to 29 years old. Yeah, could you oh, imagine being 29 years old and never, like, leave the basement and be chained to a bed the whole time? How fucked up would you I, be? I'm surprised they would be still alive. Can you imagine 29 years of that? Yeah, I where, mean... Where that, was this at? And was it the United States? Yeah, I, I, I'm I, pretty sure. Did it say what state or anything? I I'm, don't know. Somebody, I like, don't have an article in front of me, so I can't... either Florida or Mississippi. <laughs> I don't know, but you should see the pictures. I'm like, dude's got like a Dutch boy haircut and shit. Like, you can just tell, but they look... Do they even... Like, up. are they even clean? Did they wash them and shit? Like, no, no, they're filthy. Oh, my God. They're like, filthy. They're chained to beds. 29 years old. If I went through that for 29 years, I wouldn't have any brain left. Like, I'd be mentally unstable because I, I've talked about this before. Um, yeah, watch your siblings come down one by one. California. Oh, man. I'll take heard about it, too. That's, that's so fucked fucking up. disturbing, man. Because that's how, like, I talked about this on a show before, though, I think. Um, I like reading about serial killers and stuff. But that's how Ed That's Gein because you are one. <laughs> Dexter. Um, you just haven't done it yet that we know yeah, of. Yeah, uh, that we know of. Uh, that's how Ed Gein became such a, a crazy man. He wasn't allowed to leave his house until he was 40. His mom was very overprotective. At 40 years old, his mom died. So he finally left the house. And when he had human interaction, he didn't know how to interact. So he just killed everybody. Right. So at 29 years old, you know, there's probably, oh, my God. Were they, so they were all still alive. Yeah, they were alive. They yeah, just, those kids are going to have, especially the old one, like the 29-year-olds and stuff like that. Yeah, no. They're going to have horrible, horrible mental issues. They're going to be fighting that their whole life. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, there's no chance of a normal life. Uh, a 16 or 17-year-old, I think, actually finally got free mm -hmm. and like went up to the upper part of the house and found a cell phone and managed to call 911. So they weren't completely like cut off from reality or yeah. they wouldn't understand the concept of 911. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they could talk. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't understand how that even happens. Just such a weird fucking thing, dude. That's just, I don't know what goes through people's heads like that. Like, I was just only Yeah, he's right. Tuffy's right. Ed Gein only killed two people. Um, even that's debated. They don't even know if he ever actually killed anybody. Uh, but, like, one. Oh, the, right. other, the other one's up for debate still. His biggest problem was he fucking uh, uh, would, would, would grave rob. And uh -huh. then steal people's skin and shit to make lamps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like he would make cereal bowls and silverware out of the like, skulls and shit like that. Yeah, so so his uh, his biggest problem was was really creepy arts and crafts. Yeah, like he was just <laughs> fucking insane. 
Um, yeah, because I was just well, well, when I was talking about Megan's kid and everything, how it was killing me inside that he was, you know, upset like that. I don't. You just you I, have to. Be, yeah, I don't get it. I yeah. just I don't know, dude. And here's I don't the thing too. That. Like I never wanted kids all through my life. I said I'm never having kids. Never yeah. having kids. Right. And I had kids, and I still could not be awful to my kids. I yeah. couldn't. Like yeah. I, I just don't even understand it. Like I'm exactly the kind of person who would never want them. And uh-huh. then ended up with them anyway. Uh huh. I, I I couldn't do it. I couldn't that, be like that. That's fucking crazy. I didn't hear anything about that at all. Oh, it's fucking wild. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a find a thing about it. Actually, show me some pictures of you find because I'm actually interested <coughs> of what those kids would fucking look like. Uh they they didn't show the pit. Uh, no. the because I'm wondering pits. if like. You know, if the if the basement was like dirty or if it was like actually yeah, like, look at look at these guys. Oh my god. Is that a dude? That's a dude. That's that yeah, the Dutch boy haircut the there. The Dutch boy paint, dude. Oh my god. I'm trying to see if I can find a way they to look like, like show brother everybody. and sister. Don't they? Yeah, kinda. Uh found shackled in the Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit and like just turn my monitor around, see if everybody can see it. That is, cr- they. Oh my god, dude! I don't know if the camera's going to catch this real well. But it ding, but, ding, 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 but ding. But hopefully, ding. hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, look at these people. Holy they are so fuck, all kinds man. of fucked up. I'm waiting to see it on the thing here and see if it comes out clearly or not. That is fucking <laughs> crazy, dude. And see, that's the thing. Like, like imagine being like a TV repairman oh, or something like that, anymore. and they were chained to beds. Oh Jesus Christ. Imagine being like a TV repairman or something like that and accidentally finding that. Oh, look, there's a fucking picture of them. Like, they look normal. They're all wearing thing shirts. Yeah, like, thing. Well, look at this. They were trying to be cute. <laughs> oh, I was showing a fucking video. Nobody got to see oh, the thing. God damn it. A video. All right, here. Hang on. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, my God. They were, like, trying to be, like, normal. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, like, like those those kids are screwed. They'll probably never ever be able to be in a relationship. They'll probably never ever be able to get married. They'll probably never have kids. They're fucked for the rest of their lives, dude. Yeah, that I mean sucks. this is this is ridiculous. They're very protective of their kids. Yeah, they were real fucking protective. The parents were How? charged with torture and child endangerment. Endangerment. How is that protected of your kids? I don't get that, man. What makes you want to like? I just, I don't know, dude. That's so fucking weird. Oh I, yeah, it's it's bad. I wouldn't. And like I said, like if you were if you were a TV repairman or something like that, and you found that, the parents probably would have killed them. Oh yeah, I'm they sure. They want them to get out. Oh, man, that's interesting. Holy fuck, dude. Interesting, but fucked up to all hell. I just, it, nothing surprises me anymore. And that's the thing, like, you know, like we had around here. We had a guy that, you know, he was a very well-known around here. He owned his own business. He went to church, and we found out he was touching his daughter. Yeah. And it's just like every, I was not surprised, for the record. <laughs> everybody's just behind closed doors has secrets, man. And I just, it doesn't surprise me. I yeah, just, but everybody's got little secrets. <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, maybe you're a freak in the bedroom. Maybe you like, uh, I know, you know I am. maybe you like I know a, I am. That's why the ladies are like me. <laughs> maybe, maybe you like a little bit of the, uh, you know, the dildos. Maybe, maybe you like a little bit of the spanking, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, like, I just send, uh, packages of dildos and notes of how much I want to have sex with them and use them on them. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> like maybe Matt, you Matt go, Lowry. <laughs> maybe you go home and put on a fur suit and jerk off until you cry in the mirror at Would your own you shame. Fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> Sing it, uh, dancing along to Goodbye Horses. <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking crazy. That is insane. But, All right, well, we, we got to wrap the show up yeah, for this week. Yeah, we're out of time. Um, it's been great. It's been fun. I got to brave the elements. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> yeah, I almost died this morning, but whatever. <laughs> we'll see you all next week. Hopefully, hopefully our little man candy will be here, although you may realize... Towards the end of the show, he may have to get up and leave, but it's because he's got a new job a little bit slightly different hours. So we'll work it out. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. See you later. See ya. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning!
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>